Hello my friends. Today I will start a new project with you because I love to share my knowledge about painting. I've decided to make more of them. It is really really fun for me but also a challenge to film when I'm painting, but I love it. So here is a color mixing for my new project. I will start with you to show you how I choose my colors and how I mix them for the painting. My color choose is really intuitively. When I start a new project, I go into my studio, look at my colors and then let the colors speak to me. Today I have to take these colors. I will show you. This is a phthalo blue cyan. This is a phthalo green. And this is my napple yellow. With these three colors plus white, I mix a turquoise for myself. And this turquoise I love more than the turquoise I can buy. Because here I have the possibility to make my turquoise more greenish or more bluish. I will show you this after. Then I have the other color. This is the farm green from Lucas. I love this color. I have the Bruce, Bruce, <laughs> the Prussian blue for dark uh, values. Black. This is a carmine red from Schminke. This is a Diarulite yellow from Golden. I love this color really much because it's so good for mixing colors together. I have a cadmium orange and then a pinky. Let's start together. I take a little bit of this phthalo blue Phthalo green. Neapel yellow. You can also take an ochre if you want. This is white. I love, I love it when I mix the color before my painting process. So I can I can um, me concentrate on the painting process and not on the mixing colors and searching colors. So now let's start this experiment. This is now dark blue. So now a little bit of white. This is always a surprise <laughs> how it looks after. Take more white. I love the color tur turquoise so much. And this I love more than that one that I can buy. So now when I want it more greenish then I take more of the, this green, of this phthalo green. Now to vary the tone, I give a little bit of Neapel yellows inside. And now look at this great turquoise. So for today, I love this. I let it. Sometimes I make it more bluish, sometimes more greenish, but I think today that it's okay for me. So, good. So, 
my baby wipe for cleaning up. I love to mix with this spatula. This is cheap and it goes so good. So then I take from this diary lit yellow. A little bit of this cadmium orange. The carmine from Schminke. Here a little bit for mixing with, with the black one. I want to have also dark values and I decide this can be my dark value or also the Perusian blue plus a little bit of black and here black. For this I take the liquid black because then I have the possibility to make lines with my liner with the liquid uh, color that goes better than with a, with a thick color. When I want to use my thick black after, I take the golden carbon black. So, now a little bit of green. This is a really cool green. And then this is, is a, a pink. I don't know if I will take all of this color after in the painting, but these are all, all of these colors speaks to me today, and I, uh, have, and I feel the desire to take these colors. In the middle, I like to have more white to mix the colors with white too. I always have much of white in the middle of my palette. I love that. So I think that's enough for the moment. For the moment, maybe I will mix a little bit of this. But you can make this or not. For me, during the painting process, I will mix the colors intuitively together and um, that is more harmonious when I make this and I mix it always on the paper as you know from my other videos. Here is the blackish blue, the black and the red one. I think during the painting, painting process I will mix the orangey with the green because that these colors are comple complementary and that give really nice greens. Um, that's not enough. This is so, it's like an uh, olive one. Oh, <laughs> not enough green. Huh? So, this is a neutral color. This is the show effect. I take a little bit of them because I want it greenish. Um, I want a beautiful green. Also a little bit of this color. When I mix in with these tones, the painting will be will be harmoniously because all the colors will disappear disappear on the painting. Now that's not, that's okay. A little bit of white. So and all the rest I don't know at the moment. I will start then the painting and then I will mix it all together. Um, so, what I really 
want to say to you I have a trick when you mix these colors and then you begin to paint and now you feel oh I have not time to continue with painting or I need a break and um, you know that acrylic paints um, dries so fast there I have a trick when I have this problem that I have to make a break for three or four hours then I spritz it all a little bit like this you will find out how, mu how much wa water you need and then I have this tray this is a I found it in my local store and this is a tray um, kind of aluminium I think but I think a tray of plastic is also good um, important is that you don't have here any holes so I spritz it then I take it on my palette with my colors and then it's important that it's uh, close here and so I know my acrylic colors doesn't dry so fast um, sometimes I make a break for 24 hours and then when I come back and looking under my tray I see my colors are still wet this is for me this is really a great um, help maybe for you also so then I think this is enough for the moment um, we will see you with the activating of the canvas and then we paint together a painting thank you for watching and see you bye